Hey everybody, this is Andrew with BNB Technologies. Uh, in this video, this is part one of a four-part series on HP's Agile Manager. So we'll go over the dashboard and all of the different modules and how to integrate Agile Manager with HP ALM. Okay guys, welcome to AGM here. Uh, so let's look at the um, let's look at how to get going in AGM if you have a, a fresh workspace. So a workspace up here is a um, kind of like a project. Uh, so you divide your AGM up into workspaces. Uh, so as you can see, we have a, a few workspaces up here, and I've created one just for us uh, called YouTube Demo. So if you click the, the little cog wheel here, it takes you into the, the settings for AGM. And first up, uh, you have a little drop down here, so you'd want to choose Site. And then the first tab here is Workspaces, so you can see it breaks it into three sub-tabs. So first one's Workspaces, and this is how you would create a workspace, so you can feel free to add a workspace. So like I said, I've already created one for YouTube Demo, so we'll be working with this one today. Uh, the next tab up here is Custom Fields. Uh, we'll go into that later, uh, but it's very similar to ALM if you're familiar with that tool. Uh, you can create custom fields uh, for user story features themes. Again, we'll, we'll dig into this later. Uh, but what I want to show you is users. So here we go. We have uh, myself here, Andrew Carpenter. And uh, this is where you would uh, add your user to a workspace. So we have our workspace column. And there's a, a few ways to do this. Uh, you can go ahead and double click the column here and add your workspace. Uh, or you can uh, use the button up here to assign workspaces. So as you can see, I've already put myself in the uh, YouTube uh, demo workspace. And it's, it's great out here just because that means we're uh, in that workspace right now. And then roles, uh, this is kind of the privileges you have for that workspace. So for YouTube demo workspace, I've just given myself uh, all of the different privileges. OK, so let's back out of the um, settings. So click the cog wheel again, and it has a little exit arrow up there. So we will step out of that, and now up here in the top left, we have our drop-down, uh, very similar to the settings, and we have dashboard, product backlog, release management, defect management, builds, and source code. So builds and source code are both when you integrate uh, ALM and AGM. Uh, so for this demo, we'll briefly touch on those, but what we want to focus on is the dashboard, the product backlog, release management, and defect management. Uh, so let's start with uh, the product backlog. Uh, the dashboard is for all of your reporting, but since we don't have data yet, we can't look at any of these cool graphs. So we'll skip ahead to product backlog and then come to the dashboard last. Okay, so we're here in the product backlog. And first thing is let's look at the subcategories here. So when we choose the product backlog module, it gives us themes, features, and backlog items. So uh, themes will be the very high level uh, theme of your application that you're working on. Uh, features will be uh, subsets of the themes. And then backlog items will be your user stories and uh, defects. So let's go ahead and create a new theme. And for our example today, let's say we're working on uh, some kind of uh, online uh, retailer, so maybe like an Amazon. So for our first theme, let's say that we want to have a sports section, so maybe sports uh, section of our website. So you would go ahead and put a name in here, sports. Uh, application, we don't have an application yet, so let's go ahead and make that here in a second. Okay, so our first theme, sports. And again, our, our application, we're going to pretend we're working on some kind of online uh, retail website. So in order to make our application here, we need to click back into the settings. So go into the configuration, the cog wheel in the top right. And now instead of using site configurations for all of AGM, which we looked at earlier, this time we want to look at, uh, only in the workspace settings. And our workspace, of course, is our YouTube demo that we set up. So uh, here is where we can go, we can look at all, all of the sub tabs and we would go to applications and we would add our application. So this would be online retail website. 
And then there's a description field, which is optional. Uh, so for now, we'll leave it blank. Uh, always recommended to fill that out, though. Okay, so we now have an application. So let's click out of here. So back to Agile Manager, just unclick the cog wheel. And now applications up here, we have online retail website. And we can go ahead and assign our sports theme to our application. So we'll set it to online uh, retail website. And we can do that by, again, double clicking the applications uh, bar over here. Or we can do that by setting the application here. Now that we have a theme created, uh, let's get more granular in features and let's go ahead and create uh, a new feature for our theme. So it's very similar to the themes page. Uh, it gives us a the layout here and we'll click add item in the top left. Uh, type, we want this to be a feature and it does let us create user stories defects themes here but we're sticking to feature. And we have our sports section so Let's say we need a feature that will be um, the, uh, so like the subset of the theme. So let's go ahead and go with baseball. And the theme of this will of course be sports. Applications, online retail website. And you don't have to set these now. You can go in and set them afterwards. You only need the type and name up here. Uh, but for our example, let's set them now. And then releases, we don't have a release yet. <coughs> uh, that's okay, so we'll go ahead and create that here in a second. Uh, featured store or feature story points. Um, these are arbitrary numbers that you set any value to that you want. Uh, so in our example, we'll work with a, a good amount of story points to make it easy. So let's set each feature. We'll say this one will be, uh, how about five story points? Okay. So we need a release created. So again, we're going to step into the configuration. And we're going to click releases. So we are again in our workspace, uh, workspace settings. And we previously created the application, uh, but now we want releases. So we'll create a new release. This will be website release version 1.0. Uh, you can set a description. Uh, start date we'll use today, end date we'll say uh, how about end of September, sounds good to me. Sprint duration we will go one for every uh, one sprint uh, per week. So sprint duration every one, sprint duration units in weeks and you can go from between weeks and days here. And then we'll save that. And here's our um, release broken down into the sprints and then we will step back we'll look at our baseball feature and then we will assign this to our release so let's go ahead and we can't assign the release here so let's go ahead and click the ID number for our feature and this will pull up a more detailed view of this and let's go ahead and uh, select release down here. It says no value here, so let's click that and let's assign it to the website 1.0 release. Uh, it says that was saved and then to return uh, to the previous screen there's a button up here, so return to features. And now this will update into our release. So I can open this, make it a little larger here. Uh, so release website 1. Point, uh, version 1.0. Okay, so I went ahead and created a few more features here. Uh, we now have football, soccer, and golf. And each of these I assign story points. I put a, a couple of different values in here just so we can uh, see what that looks like. And now over on the right side we have a little pane here. And in this uh, little window it's our website release version 1.0 and it's going to show us our story points uh, remaining um, how much we've assigned, kind of give you a little bit of info here. So as you can see, uh, we're over planned by 22 story points because our total capacity is zero story points. So let's go ahead and go in and fix that right now. So let's walk into the configuration again. Uh, step in here. And let's look at, so we're in releases on our first release. 
And let's look at some of the uh, different settings in here. So we have the overview of our release, uh, additional settings. Right now we have release working days, just Monday through Friday. Uh, you can assign the weekend days if you would like. And then storyboard mode, we have scrum mode or the con Kanban mode. So we're going to go ahead and stick in a scrum mode for this tutorial. If we click the sprints tab, it shows us all of our sprints. And here we have assigned teams, no teams, no, te no teams exist. So let's go ahead and make a team here. So create feature team. Uh, we'll name this one team, how about team orange? And then our default velocity per sprint, uh, we're going to go ahead and put this at maybe 100. So lots of story points here. We will save that. Now we have our team, so let's go ahead and add some members to this team. So team members, add members. Uh, I'm the only one in this workspace, so I'm the only user that shows up. Uh, but if I would have added more users to this workspace, we would have more people on this list. So I'll add myself to this team. And then our storyboard, uh, we will get into this later. Uh, but this is a um, great way to edit the storyboard of how it shows to kind of customize it here. So let's step back out of the configuration. And now we can see that our release 1.0, we can see all of our story points. Um, so I assigned 100 story points per sprint. And since all of these features are per release, and our release was a few months long. It gave us uh, 2250 total story points. Um, so that seems like a that seems a little overboard here. Um, so you know if you created too many uh, story points here, you can go go ahead and go back in and edit it. So we'll click back into the configuration uh, on our releases. Or I'm sorry, on our teams uh, releases. <laughs> Let's see if I can find this here. Uh, so releases, website release, uh, so the, the Teams tab here uh, would be a new uh, team for uh, the entire workspace, uh, but we're not looking at workspace teams yet. Uh, right now we just want to keep our teams specific to the release. Uh, so there's, there's pros and cons to that. Uh, a team in the workspace will carry across the entire application for any release and any application. So by, by, it'll carry across all of AGM, uh, any release, any application. Uh, but for example, I only want our release to, or I only want our team to be tied to our release right here. So we'll go to our releases, click it, go to teams. We have team orange. Let's edit this team and then all of our expected default velocity. Let's change this to, uh, how about 15? And then uh, we didn't select a team lead, so I'm the only user again, so I'll select myself. I can save that. Now, our sprints didn't update here, so we have to go in and update all of them manually. Okay, all of the sprints are updated to 15 uh, story points for our velocity. So it gives us a new total of 330 story points, which uh, looks a lot better for when we play around with the dashboard. So let's go ahead and step out of the configuration again. And now, as you can see on the right, our uh, little pane here uh, updated, and now it's 350 for the story points instead of 2250, uh, which looks a lot better. Now we can see our bar is slowly filling up. Okay, so we have all of our features created. And let's review really quick. So we started with themes and we have our sports theme. And I went ahead and created another theme uh, called electronics. Uh, we won't work with this today, but I wanted to have some diversity here. So of our online retail website, that's our application. We have a sports section. We have an electronics section. Inside of our sports section, we want to have a baseball section, golf section, soccer, football. And now let's move on to the backlog uh, sub tab here. So in the backlog, this will carry all of our defects and all of our user stories. So let's go ahead and add a user story here. So user story, uh, let's say we need to have, 
and we have our baseball uh, feature. So let's say for a user story, we want to have, um, so it gets more granular. So we need more sub subsections for baseball. So maybe we have a um, baseball bats uh, section. So we'll say baseball bats database. Um, description here, uh, we'll leave that blank for now. Application, online retail website, features. Uh, it's going to go in our sports theme into our baseball feature. Priority, we'll put this one as medium. Uh, release fills out to the release 1.0. And team, so we only created one team, so we'll assign everything to Team Orange today. Um, we'll actually go in and create a second team here in a second, and maybe another team too, just to have some diversity there as well. Uh, but for now, we'll assign it to Team Orange, and we'll say this user story, we want to have two story points for it. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then our storyboard over here updates. And we have a user story created. Okay guys, so I went ahead and created user stories for uh, some more baseball uh, stuff, some golf stuff, football and soccer. So we have football pads, soccer balls, golf clubs, golf shoes. Uh, assigned user story points, or story points to these user stories. Uh, all of them have a status of new. I did create a couple more teams. So now we have Team Orange, Team Green, Team Blue. Uh, they're all assigned to their correct feature and they're all in the sports theme. So over on the right in our little window pane here, uh, we can now see that our uh, on our release status, our remaining capacity, 990. Uh, remaining work, 31 story points. Uh, so that's just all of the work we assigned here. Uh, release planning, so features, uh, total capacity 990 for features. And right now for features, we've uh, allotted 220 story points just for features. And of those features, we have 31 story points in user stories assigned to that feature. All right, guys, so that's it for the product backlog module. We do have a few options here, uh, such as filtering. Um, in the in the top row. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, very quickly, let's say you want to filter by a team. We can select uh, values here. So we'll go ahead and select Team Orange, save, and it'll only show Team Orange here. So the filters are very easy to use, very self-explanatory. Um, same with the group by uh, feature over here. So there's another window pane that extends out. And we could group these by anything we like. And then there's a group stories view. So uh, you can go ahead and play, play around with those on your own. Uh, very self-explanatory. Um, going to clear my filter here, so select all. And let's look at a very quick recap. So we started off by creating themes. So our first theme was sports. And this was for our application of an online retail website. So we created the sports theme, then we got more uh, specific, and in the sports theme we created baseball, golf, soccer, football. And we could create more features here for our electronics theme, uh, but for the sake of this demo we'll go ahead and exclude the electronic theme for now. We'll stick to the sports theme. And then we went to the backlog, and this is where we created all of our user stories. And again, we could create defects here, but we will look at the defects when we get to the defect management module. So that's part one of our video. Uh, please check out part two and we will go over uh, release management.